enzymes work by catalyzing, which means helping to cause, the breakdown of a large molecule into smaller molecules, as follows. So now we have some smaller molecules from the large molecule. Enzymes can also work by catalyzing the synthesis of these small molecules into a larger molecule. As we see here, we now have a large molecule. So here are some neat ways of remembering which enzyme does what. Protein, as shown by the letter P, is digested by protease. No, not a protein that golfers play with. Protease. Now the protein fits neatly into the protease active site. Here, the protein is digested into what looks like an amino acid. An amino acid is a small molecule which makes up the protein. The next enzyme is lipase or lipase, shaped like a pair of lips. Now it's not actually really this shape, this is just to help you remember. Now lipase digests lipids or fats. Here again it fits perfectly into the active site. It wouldn't if it was protein shaped in the P. Here you can see that protein doesn't fit in the active site here. So the fat in the active site is broken down into free fatty acids and a glycerol tail. So we have the free fatty acid chains and a glycerol tail. Last, but by no means least, is the digestion of starch, given by the letter S, that is broken down into the molecules of sugar that make it up. Now this happens with the enzyme amylase, given by the letters AM here. Here we can see the starch, again, fits into the active site, and is broken down into the sugar subunits. These sugar molecules are so small that they're easily absorbed by our bloodstream once we've digested starch in our gut.